What's up guys and welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies Heroes and today we're going to be continuing on with plant missions finally but before we get into it you can see that the background is a little bit different and that's because they're sort of preparing for Lawn of Doom from my knowledge you can see it's just sort of black and orange now as a color scheme which is really cool that Halloween setting and why that really is is because they're sort of like Lawn of Doom is sort of going on right now but it's also sort of not you can still get event card early access which basically means these two event cards are only available during Lawn of Doom the first one you can only pay with with, with real money which is the jack-o-lantern which has been here since launch of the game a few weeks back and then we also have the trick-or-treater which was just released a few days ago and that one's pretty cool as well we're gonna be on, like opening up both of these in some way shape or form because i don't know when a lot of doom is gonna be happening because halloween's is a few days away but also there are lawn of doom related challenges going on which like you see your Lawn of Doom boom from above where I have to play five squashes or Lawn of Bo Doom trick you where we get to play 10 tricks. So we're gonna be playing on the plant quest so that we can get some of those done. And I'm excited because I actually have some really cool decks to show off. Like right now we're gonna go against uh, Captain, not Captain, Professor Brainstorm on a fun dead education and I have Ice Shadow. And well, I mean, obviously she's Green Shadow, but I've named this deck Ice Shadow because it's a really cool ice-based deck that's been giving me a lot of success online when I actually have the chance to play Plant Heroes online. So yeah, that's actually pretty cool. Let's get started. All right, so this is actually a good setup right here. I Ooh, that's an even better one. We got a lot of potential with this. We got a lot of potential with this. More for less, route this mission, all plant and zombie cards cost one less at the end of each turn. Really? Huh. We have something really going for us here. I'm gonna play that, that there are two heights actually. Interesting and no, ooh, oh, okay, playing like that, are you? All right, <laughs> oh no. Well, things are still going. That's sort of just sort of our testing out the waters card. Ooh, this is really good. Okay, 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 we can do this. Watch this. We're gonna put this here. We're gonna put this here. And I would normally play that one. Oh, no, no, I can actually. Holy cow. Holy cow, guys, watch this. Watch this right here. And this guy's gonna pop up and wonder if he'll do, oh. <laughs> well, that sort of ruins my plans a little bit, but that's fine. Oh, wait, why could, oh, that's right. I'm thinking that I'm playing a zombie because all I've had the chance to do is play as zombies recently. Still though, we got some crazy opportunities here. And I'm gonna make sure aren't squandered. He's gonna get a little bit of a boost because he's on heights. This is gonna be weird to get used to, but I feel like we have a good deck for this. But basically the idea is that this plant right here is a snow drop. It gets plus two, two when a zombie is frozen and we can just consistently free zombies. Wait, why do we have zero sun? When I didn't spend anything yet. That's weird. Huh. I'm not sure, but we can freeze you. That's gonna give a boost to both of these guys. Did, oh, he must have played something when I was looking at that card then. I don't know what he played to remove my son. But uh, that's gonna be, that's a scary setup, but we got just as much of a scary setup going on. But this is my first time playing a plant mission in a long time, so it's good to see. All right, so that's okay. We got our shield almost activated. Hmm. So this guy's a little scary, but we can actually deal with him in a good way. If I had an ice pea right now, I'd play the rescue radish and that would work out. But I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move him here. And why I'm doing that is it's just so I can, I'm sort of just trying to rush through this game and seeing how that's, like seeing how that will work. Just like that, cause that's like nine damage right there. Oh, and that makes him do a bonus attack too. I didn't even realize that we're gonna be able to get him down to two health here, unless he gets a crazy card. Oh, that's fine. Well, I mean, we won't be able to get him down to two health this time around, but we're fine. Oh, we're totally fine. Let's see this, this will be, oh, the perfect card. <laughs> Thank you so much, game. And this is why this deck is so good. I love it so much. Okay, so that's fine. Like, I mean, this is just so fitting. It's really nice. The thing is, is that this one right here won't be too helpful. Hmm. I might just, let's see, does, does he have a card for both of them? He doesn't. Let me do a little bit of protection for you. I can't move any zombies, but I might as well. I'll hold on to the rescue radish until I need it. But where the rescue radish would be helpful is like replaying an ice pea so that you can refreeze the th people. Like, you know, reposition him before he dies. That way you can boost the snow drops a little bit more. But the snow drops are such a powerful card. It's almost underutilized by most people. Like, I haven't seen this Ice Shadow deck used the way I'm using it. And honestly, most of the cards I'm using, like, you know, as I say that, you know, a rare pops in or, you know, 
um, Risky Radish here, but besides that, like most of the cards we're using in this deck are, you know, common cards. Hmm. Let's definitely play this right here. Which, which that card does, which I don't think I've shown that one, will put a lot of like four, four beams in my deck, which is cool. Okay, let's just go ahead and hit him once though. He didn't even defend against it, so I'm not gonna complain. That was great. That was a really good starting game. So yeah. And of course, it's gonna help me get some of the challenges done. Like we had play 10 tricks. That was almost all of them right there. We destroyed some more zombies. We didn't play any squash though, but I do have the ice squash. That's gonna be a big one. All right, let's go ahead and bada boom. And we'll just move on against Affinity. I've been, that's sort of the thing. I've said it in the past that I do not like building decks in this game or in just any card game in general. It's never been my, like the fun part. For me, the fun part is just playing the card game. You know, I've played Hearthstone before, I've played Yu-Gi-Oh before, and it's just, it's always been my least favorite part. But now that I've gotten a lot more cards from our most recent super du duper awesome spending suite video, things have been like great. I've been enjoying building them. So I'm, I'm glad for the, you know, the difference. Okay, let's just go ahead and place you here because honestly, it works. Let's see how that works out. Okay, it should be fine. Yeah, good. And we can, we have some, ooh, this is gonna be a powerful turn for us. Ooh, and then we got this guy. This guy really wraps the whole deck together really well. When played, freeze the zombie. It is just good. So, he actually played something in a gravestone, so we can't quite see what it is, but I don't even need to care about that, because I can play this down the center lane that's gonna do a free five damage, so we're gonna already be ahead. I'm gonna put this there so no matter what it is, it'll be able to freeze him unless it's an electrician again. Now I'll just play this because this will be nice for the future. We'll have you know some easy cards in there just because it'll be free damage. And that's fine because even though, like this is the thing with that. Oh no, wait, oh, interesting. That's an interesting decision there. Hmm, I'm still ahead on damage too, so I wouldn't have said that's the best choice, but at the same time, maybe he was trying to spare himself from, you know, snow jobs damage. And this is where things can get really nice here, because I could play you here and freeze you, then I could freeze you here, and, and then on the next turn you'll just become a 1-1. One, one. So just do that, and that's gonna make our Snowdrop super powerful, and our Torchwood can just plop in front of the uh, the Snowpy, which actually gives it a boost in damage, which is weird, because in PvZ logic that doesn't make sense. Like, if a Snowpy shoots in front of a Torchwood, Oh, okay, that's fine. But if a Snow Pea shoots in front of a Torchwood in the normal PvZ game, it just turns it into a normal P, right? Well, maybe it turns it into like a Flaming P, but it, it removes the cell effect. But here, I don't think that's the case. Okay. That's a little scary, but it's not gonna take care of the Snowdrop, so it's fine. What are we gonna get here? Hmm. Okay, that's not a bad setup. What I can do is I can continue protecting you. And that's really where the Rescue Radish can come in handy, is with the Chili Bean, or the Chili Pepper, is because you can throw out the Rescue Radish, bring back your Chili Pepper, throw the Chili Pepper back out, refree somebody, and just sort of double up on powering up the Snowdrop, and it's so darn good. So here I'm not too worried. All zombies get deadly. Oh, that stinks. That really stinks. And sometimes, of course, there's gonna be characters that are gonna be able to put a dent in your plans like that, but that's why we have cards like this. We're just gonna give a plant plus one one, and then they'll also be able to uh, have a bonus deck. So I could actually win right here. Actually, yeah, I, I can guarantee win right now. Unless he puts something in front of it, which he didn't, so plus one one. There's no Insta Shields in the game anymore, so I just win. We're on a roll right now. And I've been playing ranked mode a lot with you guys. You've seen it on the recent episodes. I've been playing casuals all the time, just constantly on my own. So we've just been able to get better at the game, and it's awesome. So there's one. One of the quests done. One of the Lawn of Doom quests, which I don't think actually does anything right now, but it's still cool to see. And we have three hours until our next quest, but that's fine. All right, let's keep going on. And you might notice that I have 900 coins and that I haven't gotten any more coins for winning games. That's actually because of the fact that apparently if we use those 900 coins, like we have enough coins to get all of the basic cards, so the game just doesn't give us any more coins, which I didn't know was a thing. So I figured in the episode where we buy the Lawn of Doom pack, the 499 one that will give us the Jack-O-Lantern, which that, that'll be the one where we open up all 900 coins that will be like a mini spending spree. So I figured that since that video would be a little more important, not to say that this one isn't important, it'll be one worth, you know, I'll just try to make it super duper worth checking out. So we'll be able to finish all of our basic set and I'm getting a verse challenge right now, I'm sorry. But obviously I'm in the middle of something right now. Uh, let's see. 
Honestly, I might just want to bounce him. Keep him out of here. Yeah, let's just bounce him for now. And then let's keep going on. It'll be an easy first turn for the both of us. Okay, and this is, you know, I just use this to beef up some plants if I'm in a pickle. Hmm. I won't deny this isn't the best situation, but we should be able to handle it, because I don't think he has a ton of tricks, even though they would be made super cheap by this turn. We'll do that. And I don't want to freeze him, so I won't. Hmm. Oh, well that stinks. And that means we're gonna lose our snow pea here. So this isn't off to a good start, and that's sort of a thing that's with this setup, is that if you don't get the snow drop on the first turn, that's when things get a little hairy, so I probably should just keep on re-rolling my cards until I got it, because I don't have too many cards that are high on sun, so it's like there's not a huge risk. Like the biggest risk is gonna I'm gonna get something that has you know three sun in it, like this shroom, so like as long as we can pull back in the mid game, which if we get a lot of shield like that, we'll be fine. And then we of course got these guys now because I played that bean, so it's the magic beanstalk, so we got that. Now when it comes to this, I could, I wanna hold on to those, but I will beef you up for the sake of it. Just because that's a scary card, right? All right, and he didn't actually have any tricks for me that time, so now he has a super scary beanstalk to deal with. I love the art style in this game, by the way. The beanstalk just looks so funny. All right, I wanna play draw a card. I didn't, act, yeah, it's, that's actually another good thing about him. So we could play this guy here, and they're just super duper disposable, and they help me widen out my amount of cards I have available. So hopefully I can play this and we can get a snowdrop. All right, yeah, that would be so helpful if we could get a snowdrop right now. Oh, come on, please, we haven't got a single one. Darn it. All right, well, I'm gonna put you there then. And we'll just have to work with that. Like maybe it was a mistake not putting him in front of the photographer, but at the same time, he didn't actually use a photographer. All right, so we still have our 6-3 card. The photographer didn't do too well. I'm gonna hold on to that because once again, if I can get a triple freeze, like, cause you can freeze a character that's already frozen. So like, that's my issue out of the way. As long as I can get a snowdrop, that's all I need. I need a one sun snowdrop and the game won't give it to me. And I can destroy him so bad right now. Each time somebody does a bonus attack, not that scary. He's not touching that card, which means he probably has a trick in store for it. What are we gonna get here? Oh, come on, where's my snowdrop? If I had that right now, we'd be able to destroy. I don't know if I have, like, I can afford to probably wait it out one more turn. Oh boy, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh no, we might get taken out here. If the shields stack up right, I'll be able to survive. Ooh, that was scary. Oh yes, use that right now just because. Just to make things a little bit even. If I can just get the snow jump, things would work out so well. Come on, how is this even possible? How is this even possible at all? All right then, well I didn't wanna have to do it, but it's what we gotta do is we gotta like freeze everybody here. And it's all like completely free of charge, which is the funny thing, is I can throw all this out right now. Oh, there we go, about darn time, I should've played that one first. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna put you here, and I wanna freeze this one, and then we can at least make this snowdrop super duper powerful for the next time around. Put you out here, freeze you. Man, if I could've played that card first, you know how much, how powerful, like, that thing would be like 10, 15 damage maybe? It'd be crazy. I'm gonna hold on to the torch fruit because I just don't really have any reason to play it. All right, so we'll be able to take care of you free of charge, you free of charge, you free of charge, and these two aren't gonna be able to attack. It's a down to the line game, and it's really all mattering on the luck of the draw. Oh man, I wish I could have gotten the plant food again. All right, so you're gonna do a bonus attack, but that's, is that, ooh, that was too close. Okay, my best bet is to do this. And I might be able to pull out the win here. He didn't have any tricks. Oh, this is gonna be scary. He shouldn't be able to shield, so I think we won. I think we just won this game on one L. Yes, we did! Wow! What a what an episode so far. Just win after win. I've been really happy with this Ice Shadow deck. I'll try to show it off again at the end of the episode, just for those of you who might want to try it out for yourself, or maybe you'll try it out for yourself and you can let me know how it could be even better. I'm always all ears for that kind of stuff, so. Of course, if you guys ever have any deck building tips or any strategies you might find, like, I don't mind that stuff. Like, you can go on and on about how awesome the deck you built is. Like, I don't I, like, I don't really mind hearing about it, so let me know. I wanna hold on to that card to the late game. Then, uh, of course, this Fiesta. I guess we'll try it. 
I mean, we don't have too much to lose. I, I mean, we haven't run into the Ice Squash at all. Hmm. I think I might, oh, I'm gonna just bounce you. Yeah, I am not gonna deal with that. Maybe next time around. Like, next time around, if, if he plays that again, I'll be able to handle it way better. But for this time, that, that bouncing on zombies is a really great stalling move, because now we got all this. And by the end of the game, this is gonna be really buffed up. Hmm. So I have a few options to me. And I think the best one, okay. So this would boost you to a 3-3, three, three, and this would boost you to a 3-4. Three, three, so let's do it. Well, actually, before I do, Let's play you here. And that way I'm getting a boost on both of them. That's smart thinking right there. So you're gonna get a boost, and you're gonna get a boost. And you just gotta work with the snowdrops all together, especially in this specific um, stipulation we got going on here with Professor Brainstorm, where we're getting, you know, minus one sun every single time. It really changes things up. All right, oh no, that's so bogus. Oh, come on. Oh well, we should still be able to handle things. Like one snowdrop is enough to turn the game around, especially if you have the deck that we have. All right, so there's a Torchwood, of course. I was hoping for something else. The only issue is that we need, we probably shouldn't have rerolled the vanilla or whatever the Flourish, because the Flourish is really helpful. I would suggest that, you know, the Flourish, if you don't have it in the, in the setup, you should probably get it in the setup because it can really change things around quite a lot. So right now things are looking nasty, but that won't be forever because we can throw you out here. And it'll be fine. Like, it'll match you in damage, so. Unfortunately, we're gonna lose our precious. I guess I should have waited. I, I played that card, and then I just pressed go. If I, I could have saved the snowdrop if it wasn't for that, so. That's my own fault. Hmm. Not good. Not good one bit. That's not too bad. Oh, no. <laughs> Might wanna steer clear of you for right now, big dude. Just for now. Like, this guy's actually, this match is giving me more of an issue than any of, anybody else so far. Infinity was no problem. Professor Brainstorm's been a little bit of a difficulty, but not impossible. But now the smash, the smash is a big issue. Honestly, honestly enough, I don't need too much more to pull out a win here. What is he, he's gonna remove my son. Okay. Not too much though, so I can actually handle that. This is a really tough predicament. Like, I don't know what this... Hmm. What if I move you... Will that boost you, though? Like, that's the thing. I'm not playing a plant here. I'm playing the zombie here. It, okay, there you go. I'm in the clear. Hmm. Well, that would get you down to... This would do one attack, and then it would get you down to 12, and then it would get you down to eight, and then I'd be able to take care of half of your health. Let's try it. Maybe now's a bad time, but I'm running out of time. Get that there, and then I'll hit you one more time, and that'll be eight damage. You're about the shield, but so am I. I'm trying to just stall out for my shield. Hopefully I can get it this round, but if I don't get it this round, I'm definitely getting it next. Same thing for him, though. See, oh no, and that's the hard thing about the smash. Man. Oh, but I got mine too? Ooh, a plank is plus two, two. I'm gonna put that there so we can just get rid of this arm wrestler. That would be very helpful. That was a good situation. So he's back to 14 health, so it feels like a lot of my progress has been undone. Hmm. The thing is, is that even if I put this in front of Mr. Dude here, it's not gonna do anything for me. He's gonna be able to hit that, and then he has Frenzy, so he's gonna keep, gonna be able to keep on hitting. So I need to put him in front of the Flag Zombie. Right, that's my best choice. Then boost up you. Maybe I should've boosted up the Torchwood so that we have a spread of damage. That way if he takes care of one card, it won't take care of all my damage, but He's not gonna worry about that. Instead, he's gonna keep going. So that's six damage right there. He's gonna get him down to six. So if we can just find a way to survive just a little bit longer. Man, where are my snow drops at? We can survive this right here. Is that all he's gonna do? All right, it 100% depends on what tricks he has. He doesn't have any tricks. We just won. That's the second game in the row. We just won with one health left. Oh my gosh, that's insane. And that's yet another challenge done. We're reeling in those gems. You know, 30 gems already today. 
And also, you might know that my rank is higher than it was the last episode that we played ranked. That's because I accidentally played a few games and ranked. Like, I was trying to find a casual game, and I was like, whoops, found a ranked game. I didn't want to leave because I didn't want my rank to go down, but oh no, now there's three heights instead of two. That's really weird. All right, so probably gonna reroll that. That's good. Gonna reroll this because it's not necessary. That's really good. I'm gonna keep with that. Now, what is different here? Ooh, this is a great setup. Professor Brainstorm is using his Eureka superpower for this battle. So many zombies. <laughs> All right, so that means he's gonna have a lot of different zombies. He's gonna play that to start things off. And I'm just gonna leave it be. I wanna play something, he doesn't have any brains to counteract me with this, so I'm gonna start off there. And this will be a great start, actually. I can make things work like this. I'm pretty sure. Ah, yes, okay. I think I can make things work pretty well here. We'll have to see, though. Hmm. Okay, then, we can we can do this, we can do this. I can freeze him, and it's gonna boost him to a 3-4, then I can freeze you, and that's gonna boost it to a 5-6. And then we have you for next turn. So whatever's popping out of here, unless it's a deadly, which if it's a deadly, I'm like straight up face palming. Oh, nice, it's not a deadly, that's good, that's good. Let's see, game three random cards, that's fine. He only has two cards left, so him having five cards isn't the scariest thing. I sort of think you get enough cards to balance everything. Like, I'll have a Flourish soon that's gonna not cost anything. Like, I'm gonna save the Flourish until it's free. Okay, I can make all that work. And then I can throw the Ice Pea out, and then that's free. Hmm. And then, how do I wanna do this? I think I wanna just, like if I freeze you now, and then I think the Ice Pea will freeze you again. So, that'll be free damage there. The only is issue I'm afraid of. Hmm. I don't know, I'm gonna hold on to it for now. I'm gonna play the Flourish and see what we can get from it. It's just situationally the best choice, I think. I could play that, I just don't know if it's worth it. So I'm gonna hold on, because I don't know. Yeah, that's what exactly what I was expecting, so that's what I was worried about. Okay. Zombie does a, oh, and he does a bonus attack too. That's just not cool. Totally not cool. All right, so he's gonna get rid of both of my plants here. Like, man, that stinks. Of course, this is the final boss of the area, so it might be a little bit more difficult, but so far we're even getting lucky with the tricks. That's gonna be another, that's gonna be a plus two, plus two. Okay, if I could get another snow drop, that'd be fine. But for now, I don't have a snow drop, so what I should be doing is honestly, that would be three sun. I could do that. Let me play you first. And then I'm gonna play you like over here and get you boosted. And then I'll be able to freeze you and then boost you. It's not the best combo in the world, but it's something where our cards are going to survive and we're gonna be able to be okay with it. Looks like he doesn't have a bonus attack trick, so that's good. We're gonna have some strong cards after this turn and still be around. He's gonna get a bonus card out of that. So we've won every game so far in a row. Let's see if we can't continue that. He's definitely not gonna be able to take care of that mushroom. If I could get another snow drop, that could really be the definition, but we're not getting it this time. Okay. Hmm. How do I wanna handle this? I think I wanna put you here. And I'll put you here. And that should be good. That way that Snow Pea is surviving until another day. We got some good damage going on. He's gonna do two damage to that, which actually, that's sort of the least of my worries, you know? Uh, well, until he plays that. Now, 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 it's, now it's a little bit more worrisome. Okay, so I'm still doing guaranteed five damage to him here, which will be good, it'll be enough to help me catch up a little bit. I definitely need a sh another shield activation soon. All right, and he'll be able to survive. So we got some card presence. Our damage is more than his. So that's good. Oh my. Well, that's not pleasant. Ouch. What in the world? Okay, let's check this out. What is this card? It's a premium, of course. It's a legendary. While in your hands, that costs. this costs one less when you play a trick. When play, this does a bonus deck. So that's just like something that's perfect fit for what he's got going on here. Man, that stinks because I don't have too much choices on what I can do with it now. 
I could play you that's gonna bounce the snow pea again. And I might as well just put the snow pea over here because when they get bounced back, it does give them their full sun. I don't think things worked out for in our favor. We, we could have won with the right situation, but he throws rubber chickens too. This guy's a total jokester. And it's bounce random zombie. That could also be really horrible. But if it could bounce the, okay, it bounce the Benjamin Franklin zombie, which I prefer. Oh, get a Torchwood. Out of all characters to get right now, it gives me Torchwood? It's not gonna do anything for me. I think this might be GG. He was just able to get a luckier setup. And that sort of seems, the plant does, I just sort of I'm curious to see what happens when a plant does a bonus attack with no damage. Nothing. Just stands there looking awkward. Like, what am I supposed to do? Oh boy. Yeah, I think this is probably gonna be about it. Well, not this turn, but like, I think this is gonna spell doom for us. Unless we can get some crazy awesome stuff going on. That's gonna be helpful. I hope he doesn't shield it, or we're definitely done for. And he shielded it. Why is it that they always get the triple shield at the best time possible? That would've put him down to nine health, which would've been more competable, but we're definitely not getting any shields anymore. We're fresh out of those. And, oh my. Okay. <laughs> Why give me the defensive cards now? Well, this is it. Might as well just press okay and play. I wanna see what this does on a, on a plant that doesn't have. It's just like, yeah, I'll do it. What am I doing? Silly, silly. Well, if he hurries up with it, maybe we'll be able to get to the next game and try to do a little better that time. It's really all in the, in the draw when it comes to Professor Brainstorm. All the other characters are like, we've destroyed all the other characters. It's just Professor Brainstorm. It's all about the luck of the draw with him. So now we have the squash, which the squash, you know, we're just in the be beginning of this battle here. But the squash is pretty nice because when a zombie becomes frozen, destroy that zombie. So you see this very not fun to deal with guy over here and freeze him. Now he's he's gone, out of our hair. Boom, nice stuff. Okay, so we could bounce one of these two guys. I think I'll wait. I'll wait until I can maybe bounce a photographer zombie when he's a little bit more boosted up. Make a two, three sp space cadet, which is gonna be a little bit tough because I won't be able to deal with him. With this card, you know, like with this chili pepper, so he's gonna draw two more cards. So this is gonna, actually, my shield, if I'm lucky, my shield will activate, so he won't be a threat this time around. This next turn I'm a little more afraid of. Okay, and we get the frozen, which would be great, because now I can destroy this zombie. Maybe I should have went with the photographer, but at the same time, I think we can make it work. Okay. Because next turn, at the beginning of next turn, I can just throw out this another chili bean. And that's where the squash is really good. Like, we got such a good combo. Ice shot, or green shadow is really good with all this. Okay, never mind. We're definitely taking care of him because he's going to boost everybody and give them frenzy. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first off put you here and freeze you. That's going to instantly destroy you, which is going to be really nice. Then I'm going to boost you. And then I'm going to put a torchwood in front of you. And then I'm gonna put you here and then move you to us. That way, hopefully, we can take care of that dude and destroy that guy and everything will be nice and happy and wonderful. We'll have to see, he makes a two, three space, get it, zombie. But unless he has another trick up his sleeve. No, he doesn't, he doesn't. So that means we'll be able to take him out here. We'll take care of our Torchwood. So I don't know really too much what he was trying to accomplish, I guess, getting two free damage. So, so far, things are working out better this game than they were the last. It's like, it's like we don't even have a snow drop out either. Oh my, is that a legendary? Yes it is, your hero's health can't go below one. Holy cow! That is not a pleasant card. That is, that is not one bit pleasant. You just say, hey guys, I'm in the coffin. But I'm not coffin. Yeah. All right, let's throw somebody out here. Who are we gonna be able to throw out? All right. It was just, I think it was just a one one card or something. Nothing to sweat about, really. So if we could just freeze him, though, that's all we need ordinance to do one more damage to him. One of those two options would be nice, but we've actually effectively ran out of cards, and that's sort of the first time that's happened so far today. Ooh, you're gone now, you're gone. I mean, he was already gone, he only had one health. Hmm, okay, this is where we can make things mix up a little bit. Ooh, yes, he's done goofed, because I can move you here and guarantee destroy you. That way I don't have to deal with you, unless he has another one. Well, let's not remind ourselves of Wall Knight. <laughs> where he had like four legendaries and he threw them all out at once. That was fun, right? that was real fun. Okay, so 
Things are a little scary here, but we're gonna have our shield soon. It's just, it's so hard to get to him and pick away his damage. Hmm. I really don't know what we wanna do about that. Honestly, I don't know if we wanna do too much. I think I'm just gonna play this here and let it be, do some free damage. Ooh, come on. That's good. I think I'm gonna keep that with the squash. Like, I mean, I could damage that guy up, but it's like one of those things where it's like, I feel like it's futile. Hmm. And we get another one. These guys don't have freezing abilities themselves though, you know? So it's not like I can just have him attack, you know, this engineer here. It's not going to actually allow him to freeze the enemy, so he's not gonna get destroyed. It's just gonna, it depends on how much damage you have. Which luckily we have enough damage output to actually get some stuff done there. Can we get a shield? We can. I can't use that now, because he's about to get his shield activated, and that five damage is very valuable. All right, but now I have a few options. Too bad I can't properly use them. I'm gonna go ahead and destroy you, because you're guaranteed loss for me. And hopefully this squash can just go ahead and destroy his shield. Ooh, it's a little scary, but this is gonna destroy his shield. Or at least activate his first shield. He's been unlucky with the shields, but he doesn't need that luck because he's got it in the cards. What is he gonna get this time? Crazy stuff, I'm sure. And as long as we can get rid of him now and hope he doesn't get anything too crazy, or at least he doesn't block that middle lane. Hopefully he doesn't somehow know, you know? <laughs> All right, so I don't think, like I think it doesn't matter either way, unfortunately. I don't even know what's going on now. Oh, where, what, what in the, okay. I wanna put you there. We're gonna shoot this down the center. Hey, it's gonna do a whole lot of nothing. Well, we tried. Yep, we tried. Luckily, like our squash would survive. It just doesn't matter though, because these guys are gonna pop back up and they're going to uh, destroy everything I love. But yeah, that's this game. I wanted to show this game though, even though we lost just because it showed off that Ice Squatch, which we haven't had the chance to showcase, so it's pretty cool. But besides that, it was a lost effort. We're slowly pulling ahead in this game. It's been a struggle with every hero that I play, but I'm slowly outlasting him as the Citron. I've already played one of these Magic Beans, and we only got one Beanstalk out of it so far, so adding more to the pile wouldn't be a bad idea. Any way I can just sort of cement more damage on him right now, that'd be great, so I'm gonna do all that, and that's honestly, it looks like he's honestly, and I've said this before, and it's all about luck of the draw with going against Professor Brainstorm, which right now is getting <laughs> quite a lot of luck of the draw. If that didn't happen, we would've been able to get him pretty low, but even now we're gonna get him down to eight health, he won't be able to damage us as long as he doesn't have the good next few turns, we could pull to win here, and it's so difficult though. But still, yeah, I, I, I would argue that this might be a little bit more difficult than the Wall Knight boss, just because like his was pure blind luck, while this is like a little bit different. I'll save that card for an after this, because you know then it'll be free, it's not a big deal. Hmm, I don't have any beans to play for this, which is great. I, I feel like no matter what I play, it's just not working out, but I'm trying to make happen what I can. Is she team up? She is not team up, which stinks, but we can only do what we can. Who do I wanna keep here? I mean, I can keep both of them, actually. Let me do that. And then you have team up, though, so I can team you up here and hopefully get her down, get him down to six health. That'd be nice. We'll have to see, we'll have to see. And it's just a matter of getting lucky here and hoping that the photographer zombie doesn't run me. I'm sorry, but I still can't accept challenges. If you ever see me in a mission, that probably means I can't accept the challenge, because I'm probably recording a video that's not about accepting online challenges. So this isn't a good combo, but we can, Maybe go against a photographer zombie. Activate the shield. Um, and he gets this thing again. He gets this every single time, which is the problem. And that's why he can get so many ridiculous amount of cards. Okay, well. We can still, we could, oh no. Well that doesn't make him attack right away. Unless he has a dual bonus attack trick. We could win right here. Oh no. Con, I, I like that's the you know, the funny thing is we beat the first four guys in like 25 minutes. It's now an hour and five minutes into the recording. Yes, did we just win? We just won! Yes, finally! Once again, it's all luck of the draw. He didn't get some good height heroes out there or height cards out there, so I was just able to rule it. 
I feel like I could have done that with Ice Shadow, our Ice Shadow deck, if things worked out. We didn't finally get that uh, squash challenge done, but wow. Soon enough, we'll do She Came From The Sea, but we're not gonna worry about that for right now because today we are done. We have finally defeated Captain Combustible. No, that's not his name. We finally have defeated Professor Brainstorm in what was, once again, one of the hardest missions to date. They just get harder and harder from me on out, I'm sure. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies Heroes. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give this video a like, share it with your friends and family, and of course, comment in the comment section below. If you watch this point of the video, make sure you comment Professor Zebra so I know you've watched the the video and that you are a zebra to viewer. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.